Hello and welcome to another brand new episode of Dean Talk. Today I have with me the Chancellor of Garden City University, Dr. Joseph Viji. Hello sir, how are you? Good, good, good. Alright, glad to have you on the show. Thank you very much. So, tell us about when the seed was planted in you to start an institution of this magnanimity. In the year 1992, February 27th, just like anybody in this world, I just wanted to do something. I just thought that why can't I start an educational institution? Mm. I just thought and today that become a university. While in 1992, there was a hardly the you know, computer was introduced in this country and uh, I was just trying to experiment something in computer and we started some computer training institute. Then later on we gone to the Bangalore University for affiliation. Then Bangalore University granted its affiliation. Then we started BSc Computer Science. Then added course like uh, hotel management, business management, etc. So 2000 we applied for a university and we were planned for a university. Then 2013 we got the university permission from the government of Karnataka. And 2013, I was just again working very hard and systematically visiting various parts of the world. And I visited more than 40 universities in the world. And I wanted to build a wonderful educational institution like university. So 2016, December, we got the final order from the government of Karnataka. And of course, 2017-18 academic year, we are commencing in right. Garden City University. So I must congratulate you. Thank you very that. much. Thank right. you. And uh, a pretty long run, a lot of uh, experiences uh, you must have had, a lot of challenges as well. Anything memorable? Yeah, plenty of challenges. Uh, you, you know, when 1992, you know, hardly there was education institution in this country. Thereafter, Many institutions come, then uh, I getting students because students were a little doubt whether to go to the government university or private university or private college or government college, etc. That was one challenge. Second challenge, infrastructure building. You know, getting land. Wherever you go, you will find land, but it's a litigated land. We are not expertise in those areas and we have lost money in many areas, many places. Finally, you know, hard work, intelligent way, thinking and getting right advice from the professionals. We could uh, manage to get certain land. From there we begin courses. The land was just another challenge. Second, economic money. Now, of course, the banks are, uh, you know, they are liberally giving that to selected people mm -hmm. and institution. So at that time, getting a bank loan was also very difficult. Then with all these uh, challenges, of course, we are, you know, anything if you want to build without difficulty, if you do it, then things come easily, you will not value it. So I value each and everything because I, I, I know how much effort I put into this. I really enjoy, especially when I look at the, my background, I really enjoy it. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, yours is one of the institutions which actually reached out to students up north, all over the country as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? No, I, I, it's in the beginning, while I was starting the institution itself, I decided the edu higher education should always be wide open. It should not be a reason I Generally what happened in the uh, schools or college, we try to take regional students. With that happened, less exposure they get. So I give an emphasis to get students from across the country, then across the world. With the result what happened, our students are well placed all over the world. We have students from 79 countries, 79 countries. Yes. Students from Kanyakumari to Kashmir we have. So that was my main intention, to higher education should go to the wide open. For example, a boy from Bangalore, an interaction with a Chinese boy, 
other is maybe from uh, Sri Lanka, maybe from UK, or any part, different part of the world. You know, he need not to go there. He can see here. He can see. He, he, he can see the culture. He can study the culture, and he will know what exactly. Earlier, I uh, remember '92 and before that. You know, there was a lot of regional issues. So, Kannada, Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi. Yes. Generally, North Indian, they were they were relatively reluctant. They used to call Madrasis. Who are go from South India? They used to call Madrasi. Even they called me Madrasi. So I realized why this is happening. Mm -hmm. Then, when the people started coming to Bangalore, they are seeing. Then they realized, no, Madrasi. There is a Madras in somewhere. This is Bangalore. There is a Trivandrum. There is a Hyderabad, etc. So I have done a small, uh, you know, exercise. Otherwise, I contributed mm, into this country. In a way that you know, bringing culture together and making enlightening some people, at least some people, I did it. So I am happy with that. Okay, so you have actually helped a lot in broadening a student's thinking by you know having this mixed potpourri that they say of you know um, the cultures and uh, uh, why do you think that students actually opt? What is that USP of your institution? Yes. Everybody say that their institution is best, but in 25 years I proved it, whether I am best or average or poor. You know, this is a first experiment I made, it's science and management combination. Earlier I am for, famous for management, mm -hmm. Indian Institute of Science famous for science, and no one made an effort to combine these two. When I started this college, you know, we named it Garden City College of Science and Management Studies. This is a new experiment. What I did done is, why can't we mix science and management together? Earlier, that time it was, IIM was famous for management and Indian Institute of Science famous for science and nobody done an effort to mix these together. Therefore, we named science and management. I really worked it well. It's really worked. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, there are plenty of doctors in this country. Why we go to a particular doctor? Mm. Generally, their degrees are same. Maybe they studied in the same university or college, mm. but still we go to a particular doctor. Yes, along with this medical degree, when you put his management technique to it, it not only helps the patient but also is growth. For personal growth also it helps. So what I am trying to say, it is not only confined to one area, even media or maybe life science, even in the management side, if the person is good at management, if he doesn't have a research thinking in his mind, he will be somewhere. He cannot come up. So a management and science, it should go hand in hand. Therefore, we made an effort in the 1992 and of course, it's a really a successful one. Therefore, we could attract students from Kanyakumari to Kashmir and of course, from 79 countries. I guess you just hit the right note because yes, people get degrees, they qualify themselves uh, with multiple degrees, but then somehow they end up not being very successful with people management. I think that's where you yeah, yeah, focus. Yeah, yeah. So, very good thing. Talking about uh, taking a cue from that example, medical uh, students, you did not focus on the mainstream courses that you know parents mm. and students want to take up, yeah. like engineering, medicine, things like that. Mm. How did that you know uh, happen? <laughs> it's you... really it's really a secret that you are <laughs> asking me. But I'll tell you, there are plenty of people. Otherwise, organizations are doing medical college, engineering college. Whatever I do within my limitation, I want to be the number one. Whatever, whatever I do, I want to be number one. Why I should go number two? Mm. So I know that medical is not my domain. Engineering college is not my domain. Let me study more about it. Mm. So when I'm uh, able to do that, when I'm uh, strong enough to do that, I'm sure I will do that. Now, these are the area was uh, really needed. The yes. science and management, like uh, BSc computer, BCom, hotel management, yes. and of course there are small small courses like this. It was an untouched course, mm. and you know plenty of people 
they were not able to get a job with this kind of qualification i remember uh, my days those who got little marks higher marks top they go to medical a little less so they go to engineering then they have to come to commerce yes. then finally they go to choose arts arts those who are choosing arts considered to be a useless in the society now tell me if you wanted to get a professor in english a professor in history yes. professor in any other why you you are not able to get a good accountant there were 30 True. years back had somebody thought that yeah society is run by all the people not only doctor and engineer we need policemen we need we need army we need we need firefighters we need carpenter we need painter so on so many so do, uh, about 30 years back you know this was not at all education institution they are neglected it with the result today we are suffering yes we so this should not happen do not yeah, have yes, proper yes. teachers yes. we do not have qualified lecturers yes, yes, yes. Mr. Long. So I I I, I visualized it long back. I understood this uh, matter because I, I I recall my memory when I went to USA. Uh, there was a carpenter needed in the place where I was staying. Mm. And uh, I will tell you the one uh, table leg was broken. Wanted to get a carpenter come and repair. And I asked my friend how to do it. Then he say he said we have to book. Then booking four days. Four days it took <laughs> <laughs> to get a carpenter. so then i realized my god uh, about 25 30 years back you know we need a skill management team we need mm-hmm. we may have a degree like a ba bcom but are these people are ready to do a job immediately after the completion of the bcom are can they be an accountant after completion of ba can they do some job mm-hmm. so what i uh, what have done is skill management training on and training while they studying itself in the college we started giving assignments to them students they are trained in our front office they are trained in accountant they are trained in the library mm-hmm. all the areas we used to train these children okay the moment they go out why you should say we have a media in our campus we have campus tv mm-hmm. a campus uh, radio we have where our students are trained mm. they you know who are when for example we conduct an event in our campus let me for example let me say an english conference generally what happen in english conference uh, some people will come and they will speak and of course finally a, in a certificate award that's all mm. generally this yes. in our college what we have done is even if it is a english conference see media students are involved hotel management students are involved and business management students are involved because event management is there i don't know whether uh, this an app to tell before commencement of an event there were 182 points to be checked 182 points to be checked that many of our people doesn't know this with the result you will find one or two defect here and there maybe while giving a bouquet maybe honoring people maybe lamplighting So on, so many issues. There were 182 points to be checked. So we have taught this children to the students, and many things, anchors, all that we have created. Maybe within the small setup we did it. What I am trying to tell you is, we need quality people than quantity. Yes. So we give an emphasis, emphasis to that area particularly. so it's more like a hands on experience yes. uh, uh rather than sending them to uh, get on the job training yeah. you'd rather train them here generally what happened uh, any organization i know they uh, recruit people then they train yes they recruit people train this is what happening why the four year or three years what about the studies they are literally they wasted other than learning some uh, y- y- you know academic things so what i am trying to tell you is what we are doing is while they are studying itself they are ready to get a job outside that is the most important for us Correct. i wanted to see that our students should not unemployed hmm. the moment they go out the job offer should be ready and second thing is they they should not spend time again for training hmm. 
hmm. is what I feel is. Right, right. So that way, that's where that gap was, like yeah. uh, about a few years ago. Hmm. Uh, students had theoretical knowledge, yeah. but practically they would just not be able to apply. Yeah. And the industries came back, you know, when they came to institutions for placements, etc. And they actually realized that uh, they should be job ready, right? So um, I also remember that uh, this university, Garden City University, was one of the first, you know, pioneers to start off courses like genetic, mm -hmm. genetics, courses in yeah. genetics and microbiology. Yes. So is there some sort of research team that you have to pull out new courses yeah. and combinations? Sure, sure, sure. We really have a strong team. It's not only really built by me. There are plenty of you know, people indirectly, at distance, they are helping. Otherwise, this institution would not have come. Mm -hmm. I'm only a small tool, that's all. There are plenty of people working behind the scene. Any course we start, we shall think minimum 25 years, mm -hmm. not 10 years, mm -hmm. not one year. Minimum 25 years, we think. Is there any scope? The sure, we'll start. If there is no scope, then if it is immediate gain, we never stop. We, we, we stop the courses if it is for an immediate purpose. No. Our aim is to see because these students, when I go any part of the world, I want to spot the children there. Then they are in a very nice place. They come and greet me. Why? Because had I started something which is not relevant to them, they would not have turned to my side. I have given an education with that those people are living peacefully, happily they are living. So this is the result of the four, you know, four thinking and you know, the, the, the course that we are selected in our college. It's about creating a sustenance for the student himself, right? It, he shouldn't be en ending up struggling uh, to build a career mm. without any scope. Mm. That is where you uh, have your eyes. Mm. All right. So, what are your plans of expansion for the university? Right now, we have the existing campus is the old metal road. Mm -hmm. We have about 17 acres of land where the Garden City College of Science and Management was all these years. Mm -hmm. Now we are commencing the university there. So that means second year there is no admission. Second year admission, first year admission we take of university admission. Second year, third year students of Bangalore University will continue. So this will go maybe about one or two years. In the meantime, we are uh, we acquired about 150 acres of land and old metals road near Volvo factory. Mm -hmm. The compound work is going on, and the land conversion, etc. As you know that there is a lot of uh, technical uh, issues. So we are sorting out all those things and compound work started and um, the building maybe uh, in coincidence with this uh, 25th year of uh, our uh, starting of the college. Wow. So, we wanted to start construction there. Maybe another three or four years maximum, the full pledged campus will be there. It, it, this campus will be a co-friendly campus. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have a multiple uh, facilities over there, like maybe a hotel, maybe residential accommodation and a game. And of course, you, this is, there is a wonderful idea. Again, it's a part of the research. Mm -hmm. We want to have an educational tourism hub Whoever uh, travels on that road, I've seen uh, there is no washroom facility properly, it's particularly for women. I wanted to create a an, uh, an restaurant, otherwise a halting place where number one world best washroom facility is available at free of cost. Oh. Yeah, free of cost. Because I know the people for traveling from here to Tirupati and Chennai are plenty. But I have not seen a good place where they can halt and maybe stay about one or two hours. So I want to, this is also in the part of the tourism course. And of course, as you know that we have a hotel management department. There we wanted to set up in a hotel. Mm -hmm. These are interlinked course and the business, you can say. Because these students, if they are not trained, then what they do? Yeah. Ultimately, if the study is not helpful, for our happy living, mm -hmm. then what is the use for studies? You know, end user is the student. They are the benefit. They should get the benefit out of this education. Of course, we give knowledge. They can live in any area, but ultimately, they should have a peaceful and happy life. Yeah. 
for which we should give a proper training to sustain in this uh, competitive world. Mm -hmm. So that is a plan. It's an integrated township plan, okay. 150 acres of land. Mm -hmm. That was on the national highway. Yes. Did about uh, from year 37 uh, minutes drive. Mm -hmm. I uh, used to go 37 mm -hmm. minutes drive from Indranagar. Mm -hmm. Maybe from our college about 25 to 30 minutes drive from our campus. Mm -hmm. So right now we planned. Wonderful. That can only uh, such thinking can only come from an educationist. <laughs> yeah. So so what about collaborations? Yes, of course. As I told you in the beginning. I have traveled more than 40 plus universities in the world and those universities I am in talk with them, mm -hmm. world best universities and uh, many people have visited us, we are in the process because in India we take quick decision, our decision is very fast, implementation is late but in a European country otherwise in a developed country their decision is uh, you know they, they take very slow decision but very quick implementation, mm -hmm. that is different. So, we approach, and of course, they are also coming now. Uh, our advantage is we are already there in the 79 countries. Our ambassadors are there in 79 countries. It is not at all difficult for us. So, it is very easy for us to get a uh, you know, tie with the, any world class universities. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, one thing you take pride in is the curriculum mm -hmm. that you have at your university. Tell us about it. See, any course. The foundation is curriculum. When you frame a proper curriculum of a course, then you get the beauty. What I mean to say, even if you wanted to cook a nice food, ingredients are there, but the properly mixed ingredients can give, only give a proper taste. So means, if you wanted to uh, give a flavor to a course, a nice curriculum should be fixed. Looking at 10 years, 25 years, maybe 50 years, long vision we should have. For which we should have expert in this field. We involve industry people, academia people, all the two, these two people sit together and think what is next. Based on that outcome of their thinking we are doing. What I mean to say is any curriculum or any course before you start the curriculum is the base. Mm -hmm. We are putting lot of effort for that and we are doing it. This will be one of the best I will tell you. I think so many people will take you know role model of our university syllabus. I am very happy with that mm -hmm. and I am ready to share also. It should not confine only with us. I am ready to do that. Our university Garden City University, the student should enjoy the study. We want them to study out of joy. It's not a punishment. Many times we say the examination should also be, it should not, uh, you know, a punishment. It should be joy. They should enjoy. Yes. Anything we do in this world, if you are really enjoying, it is definitely helpful. Of if we are doing for somebody, it is a definitely gives a disturbance and you will not be happy and you will not be able to study. For example, I tell you, olden days, especially for me, I used to sit with my grandmother and she used to say some stories. I still remember those stories. Of course, yes. But of course, <laughs> I've been to many professor lectures, I hardly remember anything. <laughs> because I was enjoying every moment with my grandmother and I was listening and everything is said there in my mind. But otherwise, I was actually forced to sit there. So, we wanted to, you know, create an environment. Children should study out of joy. The examination should also be, we don't, we have a special methodology. I think others are not adapted to this. For example, there are some students very good in writing. We are very good in, in preparing a project. They are very good in the, the, their presentation. There are about three, four skills we have. Generally, what is happening? They were whoever had got writing skill only pass. Other skill is neglected. We give the option. If you have writing skill, come on, 50% marks. If you have, you know, project presentation, maybe a percentage of marks. Likewise, we give a priority of your choice. Your choice. 
your evaluation takes place based on your choice because i know that people who are talking can also become number 1 in this world they don't have anything they can only talk such people can also become number 1 in the world <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes 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 because other quality okay maybe they are uh, very not that good of writing they may be not good of research they may not be that good of uh, doing other things but at least if this is proven and uh, i had taken this about 25 30 years back you know our world would have been something else yes. see why we should wait to 2030 to become number 1 in the world india we are thinking 23rd we are going to be number 1 in the world if our um, ancestor other the previous educationist if they thought this about 30 40 years back we would have been uh, 20 20 would have been number 1 in the world why we are our universities are not there in this uh, top 100 yeah because you know our some of our traditional thinking somewhere went wrong somewhere went wrong and i will tell you we are we are uh, we will definitely have a lot of hope lot of hope and i'm sure that uh, you know people like me bring a lot of changes and uh, this country is going to be uh, very very sort of a country and india will be the number one uh, educational hub in the world there are various reason for that one is you know our cost the same a bbm or mba course if you want to do in any any other uh, country maybe you so called you call usa uk or not even 10% of what they charge that's the fees here not even 10% economically environment see we have very good environment no you know any professor in this world you can get online you can get any lecture anywhere why one should go to there of course only to see they got of course when you have money when you have start work, working when you are at the time you can go and see now you need not to now you are focus on your studies mm. you spend your time here so what i am trying to tell you is now world is very small a real world was very very vast now everything is available in india i am sure that maybe another uh, 10 years india will be top educational hub in the world i have i have a strong belief in this let's hope for that let's hope for that talking about how the world is changing from being a vast place you know to now where it's there at the tap of a finger right so from rote learning to knowledge being available let's say 80% of the knowledge that a student has uh, you know actually he gets through the internet uh, various social media uh, have you seen any changes in the way students are thinking and parents are thinking see as you said is one way uh, i agree but you know we cannot replace human touch you keep any computer you cannot give a mother touch when mother gives an affectionate touch to a child that's a different feeling teacher when talking and making sitting face to face why the eye contact what do you say why do you say eye contact you can't do it in a computer eye contact is necessary these all you can't replace this mm-hmm. you can't replace i still hope that teachers in the classroom talking to personally and definitely there is you now of course this will help what you call you can take computer or maybe your internet or maybe your uh, online education all that it will help it will only to give you an ingredient it's just like a pickle in the meal but main course is not it can definitely help the flavor it will likewise these are uh, your uh, online you cannot replace human being but i tell you the human being like teacher should also try to know the technology the teacher when they are not using the technology then such people can't teach they will not be there the yes. poor profession yes. so i tell both will go hand in hand hmm. and how are parents changing uh, what do you see no, no, actually what happened parents are little confused now You no know, i recall my memory about uh, 15 years back i went to one uh, one of my friend house 
his son was doing lot of mobile these at and all and all small computer he said no this fellow is very intelligent doing in computer he wants always computer and all and all. I just called the boy. He was said to be 8 year old boy. I said, "Okay, my dear child, what are you doing?" He said, "No, oh, uncle, I'm playing." Okay, fine. Okay. Fine. So then uh, I told him, "What is your math? What is your, you know?" Uh, he was studying in seventh or eighth standard, I believe. I asked, uh, "What is the marks in uh, you know your mathematics?" He said, "Hardly, just passed." Then I checked his uh, ma- marks and all. I think the boy was 12 year old boy, I believe. Mm. So then I called his parent and see look he is playing in computer that doesn't mean that he will be any he, he can be successful in the computer mm-hmm. I advised him but uh, you know they felt something bad I discouraged him then you know even now that boy is doing very mediocre job they are doing playing computer maybe a, an uh, iPad or maybe a laptop or maybe in your mobile phone game is something different from creating a game if you are a able to create a game that means you are some there is something in your brain you can be master the computer like which there are children who is very passionate about the car name of the car these that and all, all. people think that their parent will think oh you will become a very big uh, uh, you know automobile engineer <laughs> similarly there are some take it in one house i got experience because i used to everywhere i go i get some experience there was in a house with about uh, three children one of the middle one the, the girl she was very very argue anything she used to argue <laughs> and they say they say this she will become a very good advocate <laughs> the surprise parents uh, after 12th they going to five year llb then llm they sent to the uk llm they spent a hard and blood and sweat mm. and uh, she was doing some mediocre job there and you start even now i think she is not successful in the pit what i am trying to tell you is merely you cannot judge a person by one or two incident one or two incident you cannot judge we should find what is exactly inside therefore our garden city university what we do is the student as soon as they come we conduct a psychometric test we give about 100 questions we give with the hand question if they go we will be able to know what exactly inside they got mm-hmm. we are not waste actually we got some power something in you yes. something in me what is that unless we found out and we are we, we 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 find out that one and when we dig it and we train it then focus then only we will successful mm-hmm. many people in this country they are they are Uh, maybe because of some influence some influence they have taken something finally they landed nowhere so what i am trying to do is every parent should un- really understand what exactly the child caliber a child you know inner strength maybe one or two incident you cannot take a decision there is a inner strength inner urge inner caliber inner talent you focus that area with if you focus i am sure that your child will be successful ultimately we want our children should be happy they should lead a wonderful life that's what every parent expect so in that don't 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 rely only on medical or in engineering or anything such kind of courses so if you think that one one day you will be definitely regret for that it's not no course in this world is bad no course i have not heard any university is offering a bad course only thing people will choose wrong course that's a problem so otherwise based on the talent based on the you know interest if somebody select anything let it be ba let it be bcom let it be commerce let it be anything anything hotel management or fashion design or media or anything or engineering medical whatever it is if there is a hidden talent within him if you can bring it out i think we will be helping to the next generation and with that education institution will also be happy and the parent will also be society will also be happy yes it's uh, ultimately we need to build a strong yes, society yes yes, yes. So to gain entry into your institution your university what are the pre screening methods that you have for the students i mean 
I believe uh, in simple philosophy. You know, our uh, 12th standard, our graduation marks should not be a, a barricade for our life. Maybe a particular examination, maybe a candidate might have some problem. Due to that, they could not score well. That should not be a stoppage or blockage the career. I will tell you, we human beings, we got ups and downs in every day. I believe very strongly that maturity of a person differs with the time. There are certain people, their mental maturity will start at the age of 7, maybe 10, maybe 14, maybe 18, maybe 25, maybe 40. So maturity level person to person is different. First point. Second point is, you know, the, for some reason, I was not able to do well a particular examination. Then if that is the final of my destiny, then my career is finished. Therefore, what we usually do is, we keep a basic eligibility, maybe 50% marks or maybe 60% marks. That depends on the course. That is uh, our minimum eligibility. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, we give a certain test to check whether the particular candidate is interested or is capable of the particular course. Thus, this is the criteria, very simple criteria. Mm -hmm. So, what I mean to say, entry is not that difficult. Passing is also not that difficult, provided if, I, if a candidate select his or her choice course. Yes. So, um, do you, uh, during an interaction with students, right, uh, maybe at, uh, during the, you know, while studying or let's say during admission process or uh, during sessions, uh, have you, have you come across some misconceptions that they have and also parents having myths? Yeah, this is the right question actually. Now, for example, you know, parents think that if the child study in a government university, their career would have become bright. It's not true. You know, there are five types of universities, otherwise education institution in our country. Central university, state university, state private university, deemed to be university, autonomous college. These are the five types of education institution we have. Rest, of course, private. There is no legal validity for that. But all these five equally respected, equally valued because the central universities are born out of an act by the parliament, state universities are born out of an act by the state legislative council and assembly. So, these both have got its own. Other, this is government of Karnataka, other is government of India recognized and ultimately all this university comes under UGC. Once the UGC is the autonomous body, it comes under university. Then there is no difference of any private university or government university. Now the matter is where to study. I will tell you purely based on the brand and its you know background. For example, ours is 25 years of its existence and that is the history and proven record. How many students have come, how many students have passed, how many students have placed. This is a record. Whether that is a new university or an old university or the government university or a private university, whatever it is, a record, a proven record should be there and brand value should be there. That no matter whether it is a private or government because private, these are born out of an act. For example, CPC, otherwise Constitution of India, mm. may be one article. You take one article. It is applicable to all. Every citizen of this country applicable the same. Whether you are government servant or a private or whatever it is. This is applicable to the same. Similarly, this university is also a When parents select any institution, maybe college, maybe university, my humble suggestion they should visit the organization, they should visit the campus and they should interact with the teachers, what kind of teachers they have, what kind of track record they have. Even if they don't have track record, no problem, what exactly they have there to show you. Talk to them, 
talk to the concerned teachers, come to the uh, that's authority concerned, then take a decision. In this world, as I said, there is no bad course. Unfortunately, we select which is not passionate, otherwise, which we, the parent, otherwise, the student, which they don't have real inclination to do that. That's what the failure comes. Otherwise, if they select a candidate, otherwise, a student, otherwise, a child, select a right course, and definitely they can enjoy the life. Of course. And to add to that, if an institution has a great infrastructure, it adds weightage. Naturally, environment, as I said, environment is most important. Why we should uh, go for an excursion? We can find excursion. Every day we do, even when we go there, we also do the same thing. What is the use of doing that? See, environment matters. Environment matters. Where you sit and study, where you go and eat food, where you cook, where you do many things in a day. But we have a particular places. Likewise, study also. When you sit outside, you get a different environment. When you sit in a garden, when you sit in a bedroom, when you sit in a study room, there's a different environment. So I'm sure that this environment makes a lot of difference. And in infrastructure, especially infrastructure, plays a vital role in the study of a child. Right, but well said actually. So sir, uh, the students that graduate or finish from your uh, institution, they have to perform at a global stage. So how is your institution utilizing, uh, let's say, socio-digitization? See, I don't want to say myself too much, but still I have to mention now, you have provoked me to say this. <laughs> I'm a Honorary Council of Republic of Maldives. Mm -hmm. For the third time, I'm a Honorary Council. I have con connection with all consulate all over the world. So that is the advantage of mine. Maybe. Others also have their own connections. Mine is, I got a lot of international exposures. I visited many countries. What I try to, whatever good thing I see outside, I try to come and inculcate those things in our campus. Right. I put that seed here. And of course, with that result, we could attract 79 countries. Mm. You know, it's not that easy. In one campus, 79 country students is not that easy. Because this is a hard work and dedicated, you know, effort. I say dedicated effort, I say. And uh, you have seen the result like this. I say international student means, many times in Bangalore we have international students, means some African students. They are not the, they are also international students, but there are plenty of things to learn from them. There are plenty of things to learn from them. Fortunately, we have less African students. Are unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> we have less African students because our entry level in a psychometric test, otherwise entry when we ask the purpose of study, when they are not matching, we will not take such students. The Mars is not the criteria here. The purpose is important for us. When we see a student is taking a particular course, we first say, give me the purpose of these studies. And when we see the purpose of study is not mentioned properly, then we will not entertain such students. So maybe we have less number of African students compared with other institutions. And we have a subcontinental, like we have a Sri Lankan student, we have a student from Nepal, and so on, so many. 17 in country, imagine that. We are students from USA. We are 14 students from USA, imagine. You know, our people are mad. Uh, sometimes our people are going there to study yes. and we spend so yes. much of money. And uh, they are coming here and studying. That is what the uh, things we had. As I said earlier, the cost. Yeah. The cost is important for us. And that is a very good sign if students are coming from yeah. developed countries to yes, our yes. country. So, sir, this year as well, you have uh, your institution has taken part in the Times University Premier Educational Festival. Uh, 2017. You've been a part of their festivals, educational fairs previously as well. What are your observations from the previous years and what are you expecting this year? The simple answer is why I have taken this year also. So the answer is I think you got it. As had there was a problem otherwise if I was not happy we would not have joined this year. We would have said bye-bye. 
but this year we have joined because last year it was good we hope that this will be better the better means you know the children you know we are a human being if you are a human being naturally we will have selfishness if you don't have selfishness and say no no i'm i, I, I don't have any selfishness that means i say you something wrong with you you are a boy human being otherwise yeah. so every human the person participate they have selfishness means they got something to get similarly those who are participating they should also have some kind of you know things to get so mutual when benefits hand in hand both will grow and organization will grow and event will grow so what i am trying to say is those who are participating in the event should have more fun type information they should not be given only an educational otherwise a particular they should feel like coming again means they should have nice you know eatery they should have me some more equipments to buy educational equipments to buy so those kind of you know multiple things if given in that place i think we can make a wonderful show of course lot of universities schools and colleges are coming and uh, along with that if you can add few more interesting things it will be worth to visit because traveling one destination to other in bangalore particularly it will take some time and those people should enjoy a lot of educational uh, entertaining videos i mm. mean talks of course those are their things maybe book exhibition maybe some uh, you know students uh, science exhibition if this all thing is combined with this show i think it will add flavor yeah that's what my feeling is anyway times uh, doing extremely well job and we are happy to participate and of course it will continue right and uh, on that note uh, i want to ask uh, dr joseph here to uh, advise uh, the students and the parents of course i said earlier visit each and every stall and ask more question to the uh, you know exhibitor i'm trying to tell you asking question is also an art the people should uh, you know give answer by by happily we it, you should not ask question to insult humiliate such question should not be there. the question should be really helpful to you and others such pleasant question short question if you ask they will be very happy to give and also while asking question see that all information pertaining to the university and course you should take it and always keep one or two options don't immediately come to a conclusion go home think again and again and visit the organization i mean schools or colleges or university whatever you decide that is what i want don't take immediate on the spot decision your decision you know because the, your decision today you take is for minimum 40 years means if you are taking an undergraduate course three years your studies post graduation then your life minimum it will 40 years that if you put your seed a tomato seed three months you get the result and finish plant is finish if you put a mango minimum 30 years 40 years if you put something else maybe 40 50 years or 100 years so what i am trying to tell the parent that your decision should be very accurate and based on the interest of your child it should be not by compulsion not by your neighbors not by somebody and also don't take any free advice you pay money go to the particularly to the right educational counselor if you go to the wrong person they will give wrong information i always say practice makes men perfect is wrong a perfect practice only can make perfect otherwise if you make a wrong practice 200 times a thousand times that will be wrong only so what i am advising suggesting you please visit the organization before taking a decision that's what my suggestion to every parent thank you very much sir mm -hmm. that was very sincerely put so what are the different uh, scholarship programs that your university offers yeah is again a very nice question 
see a garden city university we encourage the all type of students especially if you have talent any talent maybe singing maybe dancing maybe sports or anything if your talent be encouraged and otherwise in academic qualification you should have you know very good marks in the qualifying examination yes. there also we encourage we give 100% scholarship we give 75 scholarship 75% and of course 50% there are different categories are there so such a students are such a scholarship has given second thing is if somebody is very good at something and maybe lack of economy other is economic problem is not able to take the admission we will help them we will give them bank guarantee and we will get the bank loan educational loan we get and we help them to get the money and of course there is a management trainee program in our campus you know while you are learning you can earn that that scheme is also there okay you know that there in uh, european countries is there mm. earn while you learn yes so that scheme we have okay. if somebody is interested to do some job in the campus mm. during the course of study we encourage such students right right so all your observations when you are abroad at other uh, universities yes, you are yes. trying your best to implement uh, yes. for garden city university uh, we wish you lots of luck um, mm -hmm. and i'm sure the passion that you have for education in india is definitely going to take you a little more further you've already reached the stage you've gained uh, again the uh, i mean uh, university it's become a university now garden city college so i'm sure you will still have a lot more to see uh, in terms of success with that we come to an end of this nice little chat with uh, dr joseph uh, i thank you for taking time out sir from your very busy schedule uh, thank you for having us here lots of luck to you thank you thank you thank you very much